Okay, in this example, you are given an aeroplane. The mass of the plane is 2000 kg, flying in a horizontal circle. Okay, so you must be very careful whether the circle is a vertical or a horizontal circle because that will decide the direction of the resultant force. The radius of the circle is given to be 3 km. The speed of the aeroplane is given as 200 m per second. So that is the linear velocity. You are asked to calculate the angle of banking of the aeroplane required for the turn to occur. So in order for the plane to go in a circular motion, the plane needs to turn. So we need to know what is the angle of banking. And what is the meaning of angle of banking? Well, the angle of banking is referring to the angle between the aeroplane's vertical axis and the Earth's vertical axis. So if you were to draw a straight line through the cross-section of the plane, that will be the plane's vertical axis. Okay. So compare that to um, the Earth's vertical axis. The difference in the angle will give you the angle of banking. Part B, you are asked to find the lift force exerted on the aircraft for a turn at this speed. Okay, the lift is due to the um, air that is around the plane pushing the plane up. Okay, let's take a look at the top view. Uh, remember, this is a horizontal circle. So the plane is going round in a circle. The radius is given as 3 kilometers and the speed is given as 200 meters per second. Okay, if I consider the back view, so same from behind, somewhere here, this will be the vertical axis of the Earth. For the plane, it will be the vertical line that cuts the cross-section of the plane. Okay, so a, a line, imagine it's a line of symmetry la, that cuts the plane exactly into two. So this is the vertical line. So in part A, you are asked to find angle theta, which is the banking angle. The angle between the vertical line of the earth axis as well as the vertical axis of the plane. So to do that, again we start with free body diagram. I will have the weight of the plane and the lift okay, that is exerted by the air around the plane. So for vertical equilibrium, because you're told that the plane is moving around in a horizontal circle, so vertically it should be in equilibrium. We will have net force zero and L cosine theta will be equals to mg. Okay, so the downward force must be equal to the upward force. The upward force in this case will be the component of L, which is L cosine theta. So with that, we can't obtain theta yet because we do not know what is L. So there are two unknown here, namely your theta and your L. Mass of the aeroplane is given as 2000 kg. Okay, so we need another equation. So the other equation will be the horizontal force. Okay, for circular motion, there must be a resultant force. So the centripetal force here must be equal to the horizontal component of the lift force. So the horizontal component of the lift force actually provides the resultant force. So your L sine theta will be equal to mv squared over r. Okay, here you are given the speed of the plane, you are given the mass of the plane, you are also given the radius. So again there are two unknown which is the L and theta. So to solve for theta, the easiest is to take equation 2 divided by 1. And we end up with tangent theta equals to v squared over rg. So from here we sub in, get the values given, we get theta to be 53.7 degree. Okay, part B, you are asked to find the lift. So you can actually make use of equation 1 or equation 2. So if you make use of equation 1, you sub theta equals to 53.7 your L will be about 33.1 kN. 